As always guys, giveaways at the end of every single video from BoostedShades.com, so make sure you stick around till the end to see how to win. What is up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, uh, if you watched yesterday's, if this comes out right, I plan to post it today. Holy exposure. Uh, you'll know you'll know that our Jeep is kind of fucked up and um, before we get rid of it, obviously we need to fix it. So we're gonna be figuring out what the cause of that rod knock is today. This obviously isn't gonna fit inside of our garage. So all repairs are gonna be done right here in the street. You wanna get me a uh, catch pan in case there's any oil in this thing? I was gonna suggest that we try to drain whatever oil might be in there out first. That's exactly what I just said. Oh, okay. Get me something to catch the oil in. Shut up. Don't need to yell at me, Devin. There's some. But... I'm completely drained. It's really fucking black, though. Probably about a quart. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. Good uh, here's the good thing about a straight six is that the entire bottom end is accessible as soon as you remove the oil pan. So we can take a closer look now and start removing all these caps. So we found what the problem was, or you know, we're almost positive we have, is every single one of those bearings looks fine, but one of the rods seems to be seized up in the piston, like the wrist pin is seized to the rod because you can't move the rod in the way that it should be able to move. Uh, so we're gonna pull the head and take the piston and rod out from uh, from the top. We're gonna push it out from the bottom. Cylinder six. But if you look at all these, none of them are down to the uh, copper yet. None of them have any significant wear at all on them yet. Um, there, we'll try and get an angle of this. Yeah, you see right there, it's wiggling the whole piston and the rod is not sliding on the wrist pin. So we'll take the head off and take a look at this cylinder number six. We uh, probably thought it was going to be a little bit easier than it's actually going to be. Um, obviously to take the head off we have to drain the coolant and we have to remove both intake manifold and the exhaust manifold and you can imagine those are completely rusted to shit and it's just going to be a real pain in the ass to get off. Also the AC which doesn't do anything anyway. It's basically we have to disassemble the motor. Um, just shy of taking it out this is like the most you can do with one of these motors. So I guess we'll see how far we get today. Okay, things have gotten a little bit more serious, but believe it or not, it's only been like, what, an hour and a half, two hours? Yeah, probably about that. And, uh, it's coming along. Our goal is to completely replace this, uh, this piston. Well, the piston's probably fine, but we want to replace the entire rod without yeah. removing the engine. And, uh, it can be done. And yeah. we'll, we'll fucking do it. <laughs> we'll get there. Got to remove uh, pretty much all of the engine, but the so engine we got, itself won't be removed. <laughs> because it is fall, we have about until 4.30 to get this piston out. Um, we're, we're on time so far. Yeah, I mean, we'll at least have the head probably off by then. If the head's off, we just And the piston yeah. is just yank it out. So. Yeah, exactly. We should be good unless this manifold decides to be an asshole. <laughs> if you watch your channel because of this thing, the brake video is on the way. We're actually working on that right now. We have the rotors uh, being shipped probably today. Our goal is to do a budget four piston uh, front brake build. It's actually easy with this car and we'll show you what we're talking about when that video drops. It is a race against the sun now. We're pretty much winning now. Fuck the sun. Yeah, we got this shit. Devin's standing in the engine bay. <laughs> We're going to remove the problem without taking this motor out. And one day, film and edit this video and post it on YouTube. We're, uh, we're displaying our competence as builders. Ah. Oh, there you go. How'd that feel? It was painful. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
worth it. Look at that shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, look at all that. No, it's, is it, what's it pouring? Coolant. <laughs> oh, yeah, you fuck draining coolant. <laughs> it evaporates, kinda. Cool. I'm inside, I'm inside the engine, so I can't really do it. Yeah, no, I gotta come over there and get it. I gotta get the shot first. Boom. Here's a tip for you noobs. Sometimes you need a lot of force, and the best way to do that is increase leverage. So we put this pipe on the end of the wrench, and you can see it is still a bitch to turn, but at least it is turning. For all you physics noobs, your force is increased the longer your, uh, your twisting point is there, so the more leverage you can get, the better. And once we break all these off, we can just blast it off with the impact. Okay, here it is, head is coming out. These are interesting heads because half is studs and half is bolts. And I'm assuming that's big and heavy, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll put the camera down. So that shit was worse than we expected and we still at least got to the root of the problem today. Um, yeah, as long as you're persistent and you just come at it <clears throat> with a lack of fucks, you can really get anything done. And it's about dinner time now and if you follow our channel, you know that sometimes we cook shit and it is fall time, so hot soup's a pretty good idea. We're from New England, we're gonna do some New England style clam chowder today. With extra bacon, of course. Yeah, you need, you need tons and tons of bacon. As always. If you heard extra slobber noises, it's the dog licking shit off the floor. That time. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, uh. right, guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. 
we we tried to make the Jeep entertaining uh, by literally just doing as much as possible in one day. Um, a lot of you probably don't give a fuck about the Jeep. We really don't want to be doing that, but yeah, and it turned into a much bigger project than expected. <laughs> The reason it's important though is because we need to get rid of it because we have too much shit. As a lot of you follow us know, we have a lot of uh, a lot of unnecessary things. We want to get a new daily, so uh, part of the down payment is going to be through the Jeep, and then part of the Porsche parts is going to be through the money we get from that. So, the faster we fix this, the faster we get it the fuck out of here, the sooner we can get a new daily, and the sooner we can finish the Porsche. Um, but we, we got a lot done today, so we're pretty happy with that. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we tried to make it interesting. But Devin's gonna pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you're unfamiliar with our channel, we give away products from boostedshades.com every single video. All you have to do to win is like the video if you actually liked it, subscribe, and leave a comment, um, usually pertaining to a question we ask you. All right, this video's winner is Aaron Jansen. Okay, Aaron, you can hit us up at teamboosted at boostedshades.com or through any of our social media platforms and we'll get back to you and ship you your prize. Um, for this video, if you wanna win, um, like subscribe like I mentioned before and the question that we have for you guys is we made New England clam chowder. Um, it's kind of a huge you know, regional thing but the clam chowder in the Northeast is definitely the best. Comment below what food in your area specific to you that you can't get anywhere else is the best. Like if it's a local restaurant, something like that, what is your local favorite food? You can leave that in your comments, uh, in the comments. Like, subscribe, and you are eligible to win this video's giveaway. And of course, if you can't think of anything or you don't want to answer that particular question, just leave a comment, that's all we really care about. So like, subscribe, and comment. Answer the question if you want and you are eligible to win this video's giveaway. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.